Hi kids! Today we will learn about extreme forces in nature. So let's start. Kids, there are many types of forces in nature. Some are very helpful to us, though some may cause damage too. For example, hurricane. Hurricane is an extremely windy condition or a huge storm where the wind force is so high that it can be very destructive. It has very strong spiraling winds. It can last over a week. Its speed can be up to 10 to 20 miles per hour. Hurricane often becomes a reason for sinking of ships. The center of this storm is called the eye and it's the calmest part of the storm. It can blow away houses, cars, and trees. When hurricane reaches the land, it can bring heavy rains, strong winds, and large waves that can blow away anything that comes in its way. Now let's learn about another extreme force of nature, which is lightning. Lightning is a charge in a storm caused by static electricity. Lightning is visible as bright shining lines in the sky. So lightning is the electric current inside a cloud. The collision of small bits of ice or frozen raindrops creates an electric charge that fills up the whole cloud and charge from the clouds reaches charged objects on the ground and it is known as lightning strike. But how electric charge is created in clouds? The collision of small pieces of ice or frozen raindrops creates an electric charge that fills up the whole cloud. And this charge from the clouds reaches charged objects on the ground and it is known as lightning strike. Lightning emits white light, but it can appear to be blue, pink, yellow, or even orange, depending on different weather conditions, and it forms branches like a tree. When there are dark clouds in the sky, or you listen to thunder, which is a loud sound from the clouds, don't stay outside, rush inside your home or car, as lightning may strike you. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Now, let's learn about another extreme force of nature, and it's earthquake. The land on which we live is not one big land, but it's made up of many tectonic plates. The edges of tectonic plates are called fault lines. When the plates slide past each other or collide against each other, they cause earthquakes. Our Earth experiences more than a million earthquakes every year. Earthquakes cause many alterations or changes on the Earth's surface. Sometimes an earthquake can be mild, which does not cause much harm but sometimes it can be very strong too. That can cause huge loss of property as well as life. Results in collapsed buildings, breaks power grids, breaks pipelines of water and gas, results in landslides and snow avalanches and even volcanic eruptions. Now, Let's learn about another extreme force of nature, and it is flood. Flood. A flood is an overflow of water, which submerges land that is usually dry. Floods are extremely dangerous and can wipe away an entire city, coastline, or an area and cause extensive damage to life and property. Some floods can occur suddenly and recede quickly, that is, 
the water level goes down quickly. Others take days or even months to build and discharge. When floods occur in an extremely populated area, the water carries along objects like houses, bridges, cars, furniture, and even people. It can wipe away farms, trees, and much more. Now, let's learn about another extreme force of nature, which is tornado. Tornadoes are nature's most violent storms. They are also known as twisters or cyclones. They are typically in the form of a funnel-shaped cloud and their narrow end touches the earth. It has whirling winds that can travel up to 300 miles per hour speed. A huge cloud of debris and dust often encircles along with the tornado and can cause huge loss of life and devastate a huge area in seconds. Tornadoes develop rapidly and advance warning is not possible in case of tornadoes. Another extreme force of nature is landslide. It is the movement of a big rock or a big part of land down a slope section of a hill or mountain. And reasons behind landslide can be many, like they can be caused by rain, earthquakes, volcanoes, and also the loss of vegetation in the area as vegetation holds soil in place and without vegetation, land becomes loose and it may wash away in the form of landslides. A landslide is also known as landslip. Landslide is a populated area, can cause a lot of damage of life and property. So kids, today we learned about a lot of extreme forces of nature. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye.